What is up guys? This is John aka Pokemon and today I'm going to be going over my top 50 favorite shiny Pokemon of all time and this is a video that I'm actually really excited to make. While it's going to be fun to go through all 50 of these Pokemon, the main reason behind this video is to give me a little bit of a challenge when it comes to shiny hunting. Shiny hunting is a pretty big part of this channel. I really love streaming with you guys. The shiny lock was a bunch of fun, but now that it's over, I don't really know what to do, or at least I didn't know what to do when it came to shiny hunting, as I didn't really want to go back and do ultra wormhole hunting. I didn't really care about just random SRs for legendaries. SOS hunting, I did so much in Sun and Moon. I just didn't really know exactly what to go for. And then I thought about my advice that I give you guys when you ask me the same question, you know, of what should I shiny hunt for? Well, go after your favorite shiny Pokemon. You know, if you don't know what to go for, Go for the things that you like the absolute most, things that'll, you know, get you excited to hunt for, even if it takes a long time, even if you don't love the method. If, you know, the thing waiting for you at the end of the hunt is worth it, you know, you're going to be more excited about it, you're going to put more time into it, and uh, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to be shiny hunting on this channel from uh, the shiny Pokemon those lists from 50 to 1. Maybe I'll do some double hunts, so maybe I might get 49 before 50, but the main point is I'm going to be going down from 50 to 1, shiny hunting all of these Pokemon and creating a little bit of a collection of my top favorite or my top 50 favorite Pokemon of all time when it comes to the shiny forms I'm messing up all my words but that's okay I'm just excited about this so while this is gonna be a fun list video and I am gonna be going through all of the Pokemon the main point is so that I will get back into shiny hunting and I will have some pretty fun hunts for you guys so definitely stay on the lookout for those streams in the future as uh, we are actually gonna be starting off with at least 50 and if not 50 and 49 and speaking of all that let's just get right on into the list so you know what to expect the first Pokemon on this list is actually a little bit interesting as I really love Shiny Tyrogue, but I'm not the biggest fan of Shiny Hitmonlee, Shiny Hitmonchan, or Shiny Hitmontop. Usually when you get a Shiny Pokemon you can't wait to evolve it, but this is one of the few instances where I cannot wait to not evolve it. This guy's getting an Everstone immediately, and I don't want to see what it evolves into at level 20, as Shiny Tyrogue is perfect the way it is. Moving on, we see one of the most underrated Pokemon out there in Cactur, and I absolutely love this thing. One of my favorite Pokemon in general, and you know, I was actually born in Arizona, so just a Cactus Pokemon, especially one that looks this cool, it just has a soft place in my heart, and I really do like the shiny that comes with it. Uh, honestly, I don't know if I like the regular colors of the shiny a little bit more, but it just for whatever reason, it stands out to me, and it's something that I'm very excited to hunt for. Up next we have Shiny Tyranitar, which actually has a pretty similar shiny body type as Cacturn. Uh, it's probably a desert type theme going on there, I really like it, and Shiny Tyranitar in general is a pretty popular shiny. Honestly, I don't know if it's the shiny coloration or just the Pokemon itself that makes it so popular, but this is definitely something that a lot of people want to add to their collections, and I cannot wait to join all of the awesome people that already have a Shiny Tyranitar. It might just be me, but I really love shiny Scrafty. I love the bright colors, it looks so ridiculous, and that's what I really like in a lot of shinies. Something that when you see it, you know right away this is a shiny Pokemon. Obviously there's some color combinations that look a little bit better together, but that bright green, I really do love the yellow, and then you know the orange on top, I, I think it's great. The bright green, like you know immediately you found your shiny, and when we finally do get this guy, it's gonna be fantastic. Hopefully we can go for Scrafty itself and not Scraggy. I don't think Scraggy Scraggy changes too much, but man oh man, when you get to Scrafty, that is quite a change. Speaking of change, Shiny Spinarak actually used to have a different shiny coloration, and the shiny coloration it has now used to be what it looked like in the Generation 2 games. I really love the blue and purple, I think it looks really cool. For whatever reasons, this has just always been one of my favorite shinies, and when I played through Pokemon Gold and Silver, I always wanted to get a Spinarak for my team. I really love the way it looked, and uh, it's kind of weird that the way it looked turned into its shiny form, as you know, it used to be so common and now it's so rare, but I just want to get that nostalgia, I just want to get that really awesome looking shiny back on my team. Shiny Chandelure is a pretty interesting shiny as the way it changes, honestly it wouldn't surprise me if that's how it looked in the first place. The ghostly purple flames are really cool, but just having regular orange type flames it would make a lot of sense. I could see either of these things actually being the original Pokemon and for whatever reason that's something that I've always enjoyed and uh, I just like orange in general. Speaking of colors I enjoy, yellow is my favorite color, and Shiny Lucario is one of many yellow shiny Pokemon that I really, really love. Lucario, I don't know if it goes perfectly with yellow, but Lucario is just one of my favorite Pokemon in general, so this is something I had to get on the list, and I cannot wait to go get myself one. 
Shiny Cloyster is actually going to be an interesting Pokemon when I go and catch it, as I love Shiny Shelter, and it's going to be tough to know if I really want to evolve it into a Cloyster, or if I just want to go and catch two Shiny Shelters. I think both of these Pokemon have beautiful Shinies. I put Cloyster on the list over Shelter, or just over putting both of them on here, because I think they obviously go together. You evolve Shelter to get that beautiful blue Cloyster, and uh, they're pretty simple changes. You know, only one color really changes with both of them, but uh, I really love the colors. I really love how bright they they are and uh, they're just really awesome Pokemon. Shiny Manetric is a Pokemon that you guys wanted me to get in the Shiny Lock and you weren't alone. I really wanted to get this Pokemon and it was very sad when we weren't able to as this is definitely one of the best Shinies out there. I love how the yellow gets a little bit brighter and just adding that stormy cloud, you know, dark gray, close to black feel in its body. I think it's just perfect for any sort of electric type Pokemon. I think it's just a color scheme that works perfectly and I love everything about this Shiny. I cannot wait to finally get my very own Shiny Manetric. Another Aura Shiny Pokemon that I really love is actually Swalot. This is a Pokemon that a lot of people forget about and rarely use, but I really love the blue on this Pokemon, and just in general, I like a lot of blue shinies. You're gonna see a lot of blue, you're gonna see a lot of yellow, and this is one of many, but it's definitely a very, very nice one. I don't know why, but the change from purple to blue is just a really nice one. I think most Pokemon that were purple, they still look pretty good with blue. It, their colors are decently similar, and uh, this is another one I am excited to get. In my opinion, Steelix has the absolute perfect shiny form, and I just love gold in general. Uh, it's probably not surprising that I really love gold as a color, as yellow's pretty darn similar. And shiny Steelix, it's just, it's perfect. There's not much more to say, I absolutely love this thing. Honestly, it's kind of tough to figure out whether or not I really love shiny Rampardos or if I just love Rampardos in general. I really love dinosaurs, I really, really love dinosaur Pokemon, and Rampardos is definitely one of the coolest dinosaur Pokemon, and its shiny is pretty awesome. It doesn't have a crazy big change, but I really love the fact that they changed all the blue, turned its red, and even its body changing a little bit, I just think it looks really awesome, it looks really fearsome, and I definitely cannot wait to add this guy to the team. Just like Shelter and Cloyster, I absolutely love the shinies that Ferrocita and Ferrothorn have, and I think the really cool thing with these guys is while they do have you know similar colors in their normal forms, their shinies are completely different, and both of the shinies are very, very cool in their own right. We'll have to see if I end up evolving this guy, but either way, Ferroseed is pretty fantastic. Shiny Driftbloom is another yellow shiny Pokemon that is on here because I love yellow, but I also really do like all the other colors they have. The light blue is perfect with the yellow, and I actually do like the green at the bottom. You know, you don't really focus on that, but it really works. I like the colors in general, and it's, uh, it's just a really nice shiny to look at. Continuing with the yellow theme, we find Execute, and this is actually one of the first shiny Pokemon that I really, really wanted to hunt for. I really love the gold with this thing, I just didn't really expect this to be what Execute Shiny looks like, and it's one that I cannot wait to go after. I think it's really cool, obviously I'm incredibly biased when it comes to its colors, and uh, it just seems like the perfect shiny prize. Similarly to Chandelure, Shiny Rapidash's main change is in its flames, and I really love this Pokemon. And similarly to Shelter, Cloyster, and then Ferroseed and Ferrothorn, I really love Shiny Ponyta. Both of these Pokemon are a little bit different, I really love the way both of their flames look, and I'm very happy they didn't change the main body on these guys. I think changing just the flames was the right call, and both of them are beautiful Shinies. Back on the yellow Shinies, we have Shiny Azumarill. I just love this thing because it's yellow, not much more to say, yellow Shinies are awesome. Similarly to Azumarill, I like Yanma just because of the one color change that it has with the blue. Blue Shinies are awesome, yellow Shinies are awesome, but in general, I really like Yanma as a Pokemon, you know, it's something that I really loved in Pokemon Gold and Silver, and I'll never forget when Nikki brought back, I think it was a fourth generation Pokemon card, that actually was a shiny Yanma. She had no idea it was a shiny, no idea how rare it was. I was so jealous, but also it was really cool to add it to our collection, and uh, it's just an awesome shiny in general. I promise at some point we're going to move away from just yellow shiny Pokemon, but shiny Arcanine is definitely one of the best yellow shinies out there. Maybe it's just that Arcanine's a fantastic Pokemon in general, but I really love everything about the yellow on this thing. I think it fits perfectly with everything going on with the Pokemon, and it's one that uh, I've just always loved. Shiny Ninetales is actually pretty similar to Shiny Ponyta and Shiny Rapidash, and I never really realized it. It's kind of the best of both of those Pokemon together in a shiny. I think it's really, really perfect, and uh, I'm, that's actually very interesting. I thought about that on the spot, and uh, it's pretty cool to see. 
I definitely forgot how many yellow shinies I put on this list, but I don't regret it. Shiny Volcarona is amazing, and I really love this Pokemon in general. Volcarona is actually a Pokemon I don't think I've ever caught in a game normally. I really wanted to save it just for a shiny hunt, and the time is almost here, and I cannot wait. While Huntail itself may be a forgettable Pokemon, its shiny coloration is very, very hard to forget, and it's kind of similar to Scrafty in that sense, but I actually think the colors go a little bit better on this Pokemon. I really love this thing, and uh, it's interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten this thing uh, in-game just like Volcarona, but I cannot wait for the opportunity to add it to my collection. Here we go again with another yellow shiny with Floatzel. This is a Pokemon that is actually pretty near and dear to me as I did find a full odd shiny Weasel. It might have actually been the second shiny I ever found. I killed it to a crit. I always wanted to get another one and I did get one with the Ultra Wormholes, but I do want to get one in the fourth generation. It just feels right to get it in those games and even past all that, I just think it looks incredible. Just like Shiny Floatzel, I really love how Shiny Nidoking looks, and I also have a personal tie to this Shiny. Back in the day, I was Shiny hunting in Pokemon Tower Defense with my friend George. He found a Shiny Nidoran, he could not wait to get a Nidoking. His game crashed, he lost the Shiny, and we spent the rest of the night trying to find another one. It's just something we bonded over, it's a friendship that I cherish, and it's just a Shiny connected with it, and I could not leave it off of the list. Back to the yellow shinies, we have Shiny Latias. I love this thing because it's yellow. That is the end of that story, and on to the next one. Shiny Melodic is actually a shiny that I never really paid too much attention to, but once I got this thing in my Pokemon Omega Ruby Shiny Lock, I really, really fell in love with how this thing looks. The fact that its body doesn't change color is kind of the main reason I never really noticed it, but its tail is just so incredible. I really love what they did there. And the nice, I don't even know what color to call it for, like its ear flap things. I don't, I don't know the color name, I don't know what to call them. It looks really nice, it's a very, very beautiful shiny, and definitely one that everyone should go for at some point. Shiny Magikarp is just like Shiny Execute. It's golden, it looks like the perfect Pokemon prize, and I was so excited when I got this thing in Pokemon Go. I just love the way it looks. It's, it's so hard because you want to evolve it into a Gyarados, but Shiny Gyarados itself isn't too rare. It, it's a tough situation there, and Shiny Gyarados does look cool, but this is a golden Shiny, it's a golden Pokemon, and I will always love my golden fish. Guzzlord itself is a very cool Pokemon, it's my favorite Ultra Beast, and I really love its shiny in general. It's not something I ever expected to go from the black and the yellow to the white and the orange, it's just, I didn't really think it fit, and that's kind of why I love it so much. It's just so in your face, you know exactly when you get this thing shiny that it is shiny, and uh, for whatever reason, it's something that I've really, really just come to love. The only reason Shiny Haxorus is not higher on this list is the fact that regular Haxorus looks really, really cool. Obviously, I'd rather have the Shiny over the regular form, but I think both of them perfectly suit the Pokemon in general. And uh, I don't know, it's really cool. I kind of wish it was like Hippowdown with like the male is one of the colors, the female is the other color, because both of these versions need to be shown off more often, because they are just really cool. Kind of like Guzzlord, I was not expecting Shiny Skarmory to look the way it does, but I really love those bright green wings. It's very, very cool to see, you know immediately that it's a Shiny, and I really do like what they did with its steel body. Uh, I just like that color in general, and I think it's a perfect blend. I think that's a really nice color to put for Skarmory, and then the nice green as an accent, you know, it stands out, and it actually does go with the color. So I think they did a fantastic job with this guy, and uh, I, I really love Shiny Skarmory. Halucha's shiny has a very significant change and a very, very positive change. Halucha in general is a fantastic Pokemon, but its shiny is just so freaking cool. It's probably just because I'm so biased towards the Pokemon, but I definitely think this is one of the best shinies out there. Zangoose is another really awesome Pokemon that has a fantastic shiny. I really just love the way it looks and it's really, really cool just knowing Pokemon Ruby and then Pokemon Sapphire and then you got the red and then the blue shiny. I don't know if they did that purposely. Either way, it's something that I really love and it just looks really nice. It's been a bit, but we are back with another yellow shiny with Luxray. This is one that I've always really loved. One of the first shiny Pokemon I ever got was Shiny Shinx, and Shiny Shinx all the way up to Luxray, they all look fantastic. I think it just perfectly suits this Pokemon, and it's just a shiny I will never get tired of. 
While Flygon never got a Mega, it does have a fantastic Shiny, and that's something to be excited about, and I just really, really love everything about Shiny Flygon. These aren't the colors I would have expected for the Shiny, but they look really good with this Pokemon, and I like that, you know, not expecting what the color changes are, still really enjoying the design, it's definitely a very nice thing to have, and uh, I cannot wait to get myself one. Shiny Slugma is the silver shiny that goes with the golden shinies of Execute and Magikarp, or at least that's how I grouped them back in the day when I first learned about shinies and looked at all the colors. Shiny Slugma really stood out to me. It's something that I really, really, truly love, and it's such a shame that my cargo does not have that same silver coat. Shiny Slugma is incredible, and if I do get one of these guys, it is never, ever going to evolve. One of the newer Pokemon on this list, I absolutely love Shiny Delmize. I'm pretty sure only two colors change on this thing, but it's enough for it to look completely different and very, very cool. Both designs of Delmize are absolutely incredible. I think it's just a very, very interesting Pokemon, a very, very unique Pokemon, and I love everything about it. When talking about the other shiny fire Pokemon whose flames change, I think I completely forgot about Embor, and this is a perfect shiny fire type. Blue flames in general look beautiful, and on Embor, it's just a perfect combination of just looking beautiful and also looking very, very fearsome. Embor is a cool Pokemon in general, and honestly, I think the thing I love most about Embor is just its shiny. I just, I think this is the perfect way to have it. If you're gonna use an Embor, you gotta make sure it's shiny, as it just looks incredible. Speaking of incredible shiny starters, Greninja is one of the best, and I just really love this color on shinies in general. It looks so sleek, and as a ninja, it's just, it, it's perfect. I mean, this is exactly what you would expect from a ninja frog, or I guess just any sort of ninja in general. He's got to be able to blend in with the dark so he can go and do the water shuriken thing and do all this and that and this. Either way, I really love this shiny, and uh, Greninja is just fantastic. Shiny Gigalith is a shiny I never really noticed until my buddy Mikey talked to me about it, and this has to be one of the best looking shinies out there. I love that the spikes on its bodies just look like really, really nice crystals. You know, the change to its main body is, you know, just perfect enough to go with those crystals. It's not too much, but I, I, I think it's really nice, and I love that its eye changes to go with that color on the crystals. Everything about this thing is just so amazing. It stands out, the colors work perfectly, and I, I don't know, I just love everything about this guy and I can't believe it took me so long to really realize how cool of a shiny it is. One shiny I immediately noticed was awesome is Palosand. This guy is so freaking cool and as soon as I saw the shiny I knew I had to hunt for this guy immediately. I really love everything they did with this thing. The nice yellow, little yellow uh, shovel on the top is the perfect touch and I, I just think it's really cool. Obviously they do have the black sand beaches and I, I just think everything about it's perfect. I, you know, Palosand's a fantastic Pokemon with an even better shiny to go with it. At number 10, we find Shiny Trevenant, and this is where things are gonna get super, super repetitive, as sometimes I don't really know what to say. Shiny Trevenant, in my opinion, is perfect. There is no better co color combination they could have given Trevenant for its Shiny. I think this thing looks absolutely beautiful, and if you do not like the Shiny, I do not know what is wrong with you because this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Speaking of being repetitive, we have Shiny Gliscor, which is just a combination of my two favorite shiny colors, with yellow and blue, and uh, that's why I love this shiny so much. I love Gliscor in general, but just the combination of that yellow and blue, it's just so nice. I love looking at this thing, and while I really do like Shiny Gligar, that extra yellow on Gliscor just makes this thing so freaking amazing. Gen 7 gave us a ton of awesome shinies, and Shiny Vikavolt is one of the coolest ones out there. I definitely did not expect this early route bug Pokemon to be so cool looking, be so powerful, and have such an amazing shiny. This one really caught me off guard, but in the best possible way. I actually got a shiny Grubbin just full odds randomly playing through my game the first time around, had a shiny Vikavolt since, and it's something I very much treasure. It just looks so freaking cool, and if you want an easy Pokemon to hunt for, go get yourself a Shiny Grubbin so you can get this amazing Shiny Pokemon. Golurk is another one of those Pokemon which I really just love in general, and that's a big reason I love it's Shiny, but it's not just that. The color combination of the black, the green, and then just whatever like gray its body becomes, I think just go perfectly together, and it's just a better version of Golurk. It looks more ghostly, it looks more intimidating, and I really just like the green. I think the green is the perfect little accent on this guy, and it's just a shiny I've always really loved. 
I'm not alone in believing that Shiny Poipal has one of the best Shinies out there. It's not an easy one to get, but so many people have attempted this very, very difficult hunt, and so many people have been very, very happy when they finally got this Shiny guy. I know it's not going to be easy to get, but it's one that I cannot wait to get, and honestly, it's going to be difficult to figure out whether or not I want to evolve it, as this evolution does have a pretty awesome Shiny itself, but this one is just hard to beat, and it's really incredible. Shiny Ho-Oh looks incredible and I love everything about its shiny design. We see some parts that are silverish, we see some parts that are goldish, and that just goes perfectly from the Generation 2 games where you find it, and everything about it just works perfectly. You know, it makes sense that it's those colors, I think they just look so beautiful together, and it's just such a majestic Pokemon, it needed a shiny this amazing, and this is one thing that I've really wanted to get for a very long time. It almost pains me to have Shiny Charizard just at number 4 and not higher, as this is just such a fantastic Shiny Pokemon. It's absolutely perfect, and it's the first Shiny that I really fell in love with. I love everything about how it looks, it's just such an awesome Pokemon in general, and it just makes me so happy to see this thing. I've always wanted to get one in the regular game, and it was very nice to get one in Pokemon Go. While Charizard is incredible, Aegislash has pretty similar colors and I think it just does it a little bit better. Yes, I'm biased, there is yellow, and maybe that's the thing that makes this thing a little bit better, but Aegislash is just one of the cooler Pokemon out there, it's definitely one of my favorites, and they just did such a fabulous job with this shiny. Such a fabulous job with this Pokemon in general, and this is a shiny that I have waited to hunt for a very, very long time. What I've been waiting for, I don't really know, but I cannot wait to get my own shiny Honedge, then shiny Dewblade, and finally a shiny Aegislash, as this thing is just so amazing. Shiny Metagross is everything I love in a shiny Pokemon, and I really love the color combination of silver and gold. It's the same reason I love Shiny Slugma, Shiny Magikarp, and all the other gold and silver shinies, but even better because it's Metagross for one, and two, it's got both of the colors. You know, shinies are rare. It's like treasure in a Pokemon game, and having them be gold and silver like actual treasure in the real world, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool, and this is a shiny I will always love. At number one, most of you guys already know, Shiny Rayquaza is, in my opinion, the best Shiny Pokemon out there. And I know I'm very biased, but I really think it looks incredible. I've never met anyone who told me they don't like how Shiny Rayquaza looks. And if you do think that, just spare my feelings, don't let me know, because I think this guy is perfect. It's really interesting that one color changes and that's it with the Shiny. Usually I like it when a few more things change, but... I just think the design is perfect and just going from green to that nice black, I think it's amazing and just black and yellow, it just, it's, it's perfect. Everything about this guy is so amazing and getting this shiny when I finally did, it was one of the coolest, uh, you know, moments I've ever had in Pokemon. It was such an exciting feeling and I'm actually very excited to go for another one because you can never have enough cool shinies, but that is going to be the end of my list, the end of my top 50 favorite shiny Pokemon, but this is just the beginning of my hunt for all of these. I don't know exactly when I'm going to do all of these streams, but I know for sure this summer we're going to have a bunch of shiny hunting streams, and I'm going to make sure that I do go through and get every single one of these shiny Pokemon. So, if you guys like shiny Pokemon, if you like watching shiny hunting streams, make sure that you guys do subscribe and stay tuned as I would love to have you guys at those streams and if nothing else I will definitely do a montage at the end with all the reactions to all 50 of these shinies so be on the lookout for that stuff and that is enough for me I will talk to you guys in the next video and until then peace